Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell, and we are going to look at another collection here. This is going to be from the year 1994 to 1995, uh, but we're going to start off with a magazine that came out in 1993 that I forgot to talk about, actually. I, I feel bad. I think I missed this. It was supposed to be in the 1992 to 1993 episode, and honestly, I went back and rewatched part of that episode, and I don't think I mentioned this at all. So this was Ghost Rider in the Midnight Suns magazine. So we'll start here real quick um, because I just thought this was cool. I found this on eBay. Um, I actually never knew this existed, and it was fun flipping through this because uh, not only do you get you know some of these cool articles about different writers like Howard Mackey, you know, in his Ghost Rider run, uh, but actually we I saw a friend in here. Uh, that by the way, there's some Ghost Rider 2099 artwork, so that's really cool uh, because Ghost Rider 2099 was starting to come out around this time. But I found an old friend in here, David Quinn who we just recently interviewed, he was the guy who wrote Doctor Strange, obviously, at this time in the 90s, but he also worked on the Carnage story, uh, you know, the uh, It's a Wonderful Life. So we had him on and interviewed him recently about Carnage, about Doctor Strange, and so it was just kind of cool to flip through here and see, you know, him, a younger picture of him, and, uh, you know, and him, because I've only known him personally, you know, over the last, like, two, three years. Um, so it's just kind of neat to go back and just, like, kind of flip through this Midnight on Bleecker Street. So it talks about his run. It talks about a lot of the Midnight Sun stuff that came out in the 90s. You got Hellstorm there, which obviously there's going to be um, a show about Hellstorm coming out soon. And, uh, yeah, I just thought this was cool. It just had a bunch of great uh, interviews in it. There's some Morbius stuff. Um, so yeah, if, if you're able to find one of these online and you're a collector of Ghost Rider stuff and you don't have this already in your collection, I would say pick it up. It's actually a really cool uh, magazine, has a lot of cool stuff in it, and it talks about a lot of the stuff that came out around this time, uh, you know, a little bit before this time. So let me, you know, rotate my uh, camera here now that we're looking at single issue comics, and we have Ghost Rider number 49. So this came out in May of 1994. And this is going to start us off. So that's what I've been running to is like from May to April. Like that, that's kind of the, how I've been doing these videos is uh, starting May one year and ending in April the next year. So again, we have Vengeance is, you know, has been uh, Ghost Rider during this time because Ghost Rider Dan Ketch presumably is dead. He's missing. You know, we don't know what happened to him uh, around issue 45, I believe, at the end of the, the big crossover event is when he quote unquote died he sacrificed himself and, and saved everybody uh, but we're going to find out soon that he's actually not gone for good of course he wouldn't be um, and I don't know if, if five months was long enough to determine if sales dropped on the book but uh, you know or if they knew I, I feel like they had a plan all along to bring Danny back I'm going to guess because it's such a short run without Danny um, in the Spirit of Vengeance book and, and also in the main book it's you know it's a couple issues I think five at the most so in this one they have the whole the last time they had Spider-Man guest starring, now they have the Hulk guest starring. So they had Vengeance meeting up with a lot of characters in the Marvel Universe, much like they did with Danny when he first came in. He was in everyone's book, you know, and, and other people were in his book, you know, to build up his, uh, you know, his clout, I guess, and you know, to get him to be an instant fan favorite. Um, so yeah, then we have uh, Spirit of Vengeance here. Cardiac, who's a great Spider-Man villain, uh, fighting Johnny Blaze and Vengeance here. And uh, I always like Cardiac. And actually, I think Dan Slott brought him back a couple years ago as a kind of a hero in a way. Like he was helping out Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I like Cardiac. He's a cool bad guy. Um, and then we have issue 50. So, boom, right there. Already in June, just a couple months after his death slash disappearance, we got the return of Danny Ketch as Ghost Rider with a cool cover, too. It's like a, like a, the red flames and stuff. looks really neat. So, um, so yeah, special double size 50th issue. And it was uh, two ninety nine because uh, double size issues. Oh, I'm sorry, two fifty. <laughs> yeah, two dollars and fifty cents. How awesome is that for a double size issue? Uh, yeah, it's like for a double size issue nowadays, it's like five ninety nine or six ninety nine. Um, awesome. So we have this is from KB Toys. This is an exclusive. Uh, now there is a series of Ghost Rider toys, and all of them come with little mini comic books. And I have a couple of the toys still in the package with uh, the comic books, so I haven't opened them, um, but I don't have the whole series. I think at one point I did have the entire series and I kept them all in the boxes, but I had to sell a good chunk of them at one point to pay bills, actually. So it was really a bummer for me because I worked really hard to recollect all those toys. If you go back and look at early Seek and Destroy episodes, I think there's one or two where you can see all the Ghost Rider stuff in the background. I have like a poster back there. I have all the toys uh, mounted on the wall and still in the original boxes. And unfortunately, that collection had to go away. I had to sell most of them, and I think I was only able to hold on to like two or three of the figures. So they're neatly boxed up in bubble wrap in a closet somewhere. Um, but yeah, so so I don't have those mini comics anymore. 
but I do have this, which is the KB toy uh, one. So yeah, until I have all the mini comics again, I technically have an incomplete version of the Dan Ketch story because I, you know me, I want to buy and own all of his appearances. And currently I do. I own every single thing Dan Ketch has ever been in, even if he's only been in one panel. Um, I think maybe two or three issues um, that I heard about that I still have to track down, but I'm still not 100% sure if he's in them or not. But I have a list. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, try to eliminate the rest of the ones on that list. But mainly that list is the toy comic books uh, because he's in a bunch of those ones. So, uh, so yeah, so this is cool. This was a KB exclusive. Um, it came out when the toys came out. Objects and mirror are closer than they appear. So I love that. So you're basically seeing a rear view mirror uh, on the side of a car and you're like a bad guy trying to get away and Ghost Rider's coming up on you and pointing at you. I just always thought that was such a cool cover concept. So awesome. So then we have. The final ride, Ghost Rider, Spirits of Vengeance. So at this point, this is them saying goodbye to Johnny Blaze and kind of his story and what they were doing in the team-up book of Spirits of Vengeance. I kind of wish they would have been able to get two more issues, but when you got to end a book, you got to end a book, right? And I guess they either, I don't know if it was sales or what, but if you'll notice, my stack here of comics is way thinner than previous ish, uh, episodes of these collections. Like, this is where we get to the, the final run of this like after around like i said the, the the last year 93 to 94 we got through that big crossover that was it that was the last time that there was you know two stacks of comics with danny catching them that came out in a single year it just the piles get smaller and smaller from here on out so so yeah so this is the final issue of spirits of vengeance they end the book and they just stick with ghost rider and i think at this point they probably knew at least on some level, that Howard Mackey would be wrapping up his run. But he does go a good, you know, another like 15, 20 issues before he does end it. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, so he does, I think, write all of the books for Ghost Rider for this year. So we have issue 51 here. He's back with a vengeance. This is the proper return of Dan Ketch after issue 50. So he's going off on his adventures now. We still have the Midnight Suns Unlimited, which I'm so glad they did this because you would get, you know, different stories, Doctor Strange about this issue. And then like there's Morbius issues and stuff. So I just have all these, even though Dan Ketch is not in every issue. I think I said that in a previous episode. Um, he's not in every issue, but I still wanted to own the whole run because I do like Doctor Strange. I like Morbius and I wanted to, to read stories about these other characters. And a lot of these aren't reprinted, so it's that's another reason why I own them, because I can't find them on Comixology, and I can't find them in a trade paperback anywhere. Uh, but then we have issue 52 here, uh, Hellgate, who is the mysterious Shriker, um, who, <laughs> who knows, and I can't remember actually who the identity of that character was, and I don't even remember that character too well. I remember Blackout, because he was a recurring villain, vampire. And I love, I like Blackout. He's a great bad guy. So, uh, so yeah, he's in this issue, and it's pretty awesome. Um, then we also have issue 54, the continuation, uh, the most shocking ending ever in Ghost Rider history. Um, I don't remember it being that shocking, but uh, yeah, actually, I don't even remember what the ending is in this issue. So if one of you guys do, you know, refresh my memory. Um, then we have another Dan Ketch Ghost Rider story here. Uh, Death could not stop him. This is pretty cool. I like the, uh, the cover art a lot. Uh, that's the thing about... The Unlimited stuff, Spider-Man Unlimited, Midnight Suns Unlimited, I think X-Men Unlimited had a run too. A lot of those were great. Like I love X-Men Unlimited and Spider-Man Unlimited. They were great books. So of course when Midnight Suns got their own Unlimited, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. And it only came out like once every two or three months. So it wasn't like, you know, you didn't have to keep up with it too hard. It wasn't hard to keep up with it. I had to get this. What if the Fantastic Four had remained a team, the new Fantastic Four. So uh, that's why there's a Wolverine image over here, because I have boxes. I have a Hulk box, a Wolverine box, and a Spider-Man box, and a Ghost Rider box. And that's because the, the four of them make up the new Fantastic Four. <laughs> so yes, although my Hulk box is not a gray Hulk box, it's a green Hulk box. But this is cool because obviously we talked about in a previous uh, issue or episode where these four teamed up to take over for the Fantastic Four after they, you know, got went disappearing for like two or three issues. So it was a very short-lived team-up. They're actually coming back uh, next month in Fantastic Four during the current Empire storyline. That's when I'm recording this is in 2020, in uh, June and August of 2020. And our end of June, or end of July, I'm sorry, it's July. Oh my God, yeah, it's already August almost. So yeah, it's end of July when I'm recording this. And there's a storyline going on right now called Empire. And they're about to bring back these four members. Uh, so... Obviously, I'm going to be buying that, too, because I am hoping it's Dan Ketch. Although he's not a Ghost Rider now, I'd still like to see him on the team as the Spirit of Corruption. That'd be cool. Um, 
All right, so then we have uh, Ghost Rider and Werewolf by Night versus Mr. Hyde. Um, I always thought Mr. Hyde was cool. I like the the universal monster type approach they would do with Ghost Rider sometimes where he would fight werewolves and vampires and Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing. It's I always like that. That's uh, made me... It made Ghost Rider appeal more to me um, at certain times because of that. Um, this is an annual book. Uh, there is two annuals. I think we talked about the first annual previously, but this annual is a, a standalone story against Scarecrow. Um, so I like the artwork back there with the face and stuff. Although the pattern's a little unusual. Um, it looks like Tetris. <laughs> it's like Tetris pieces. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's a Ghost Rider against Scarecrow, two ninety five for an annual. Pretty awesome. Good old days. Um, Issue 56, I can't remember who these guys are, some kind of special team, um, I think, to hunt spirits. So, yeah, they're in this issue. Um, Dark Design, so this was technically, because you, I think in the current uh, reviews I'm going to be doing, we're going to talk about uh, the, the Mother of Demons one-shot, and then uh, I think uh, Ghost Rider issues 5 and 6, which is a two-part sequel to Heart of Darkness, which is called, it, they're calling it Heart of Darkness 2. Um, this is kind of technically the sequel to Heart of Darkness. Uh, this is called Dark Design. It's Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher teaming up again against Blackheart. Well, Blackheart's involved, uh, but I believe Blackheart dies at the end of this. So I think this is the end of Blackheart, at least for a while in comics. I know he's come back in the current one of, uh, you know, Heart of Darkness 2, but technically this is Heart of Darkness 2. So that's why when Heart of Darkness 2 was announced, I was like, oh, you should have titled it something else like I get what you're going for but uh but I feel like you know maybe who knows maybe Ed Breeson will do a dark design too to conclude it which that's uh, you know what there you go maybe maybe Ed will do that and I'll be happy um on the road with Wolverine I always love this stuff I mean this is why I like the show Supernatural too I grew up reading Ghost Rider and although I didn't have a ton of memories of this stuff once I started flipping through these books again a lot came back to me in, in, in a way, like like the feeling, I guess, came back to me. Not so much the memories, the specific memories, but the feeling of like, oh, okay. And then it, that's why I connect to Supernatural so much because there were times in the book where it was just Johnny Blaze and Dan Ketch going across the country fighting monsters or going across, you know, mostly in New York, but they would be fighting monsters. So this was always fun where it would be like, all right, he doesn't have Johnny Blaze around anymore because he kind of disappeared after the Spirits of Vengeance book ended. So it's him with Wolverine and they're just going through and fighting things. <laughs> That's so awesome. And who better to hang out with when you're Ghost Rider than Wolverine? I mean, Ghost Rider even gives Wolverine the heebie-jeebies a little bit. So I like that. Um, and then, yeah, we have more this is i think it's a brood story if i'm not mistaken so we have wolverine still part of this and uh and then you have this monster thing i now maybe this is not the brood they do a sequel to the brood story later with gambit i think later so i don't know if this is a brood actually i think this might be something else but anyway it's a two-part story it's wolverine and ghost rider still teaming up to fight and hunt down some monsters um and then to end i think this episode i think we'll have all four parts here maybe this is betrayals uh so this was the big uh, start to the final year, I think, of Howard Mackey's Ghost Rider stuff. So in this one, you actually find out there is someone who kind of betrays Ghost Rider in a way. And that puts Ghost Rider in the path of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I, essentially, I think, works for S.H.I.E.L.D. at one point. So uh, temporarily. But this is kind of a, also beginning the collision course with this big crossover event that is coming up from Marvel. We'll talk about in the next collections episode, but uh, it'll, it'll de kind of deal with that. So uh, we'll get there in the next one, but uh, yeah, betrayals part one, we got issue 59 betrayals part two betrayals part three. Again, I think this is a, a old friend of Danny's or his ex or something like that. And she is now a shield agent and she kind of double crosses Danny um, yeah, Danny has not had a lot of luck with, with women in some regards, but this is the April issue. So this actually part four and the aftermath of betrayals, we're going to talk about in the next collections episode, which I'll try to get out to you guys very soon. I'll even try to record it today and I'll just save it and try to get out to you, um, in the next like, you know, week or two. But, uh, but yeah, so during this time, Marvel was doing this event with DC actually, because Marvel was kind of hurting financially and, and there was, you know, a lot of issues going on so dc was like hey we'll do this crossover event with you and during the crossover about halfway through they came up with this universe called the amalgam universe where the marvel universe and the uh, dc universe got melded together to create a new universe and they did a bunch of one shots and luckily one of them 
was about Ghost Rider, where Ghost Rider and Flash combine to become Speed Demon. This was one of my favorite, favorite of the entire crossover event Amalgam Universe stuff. Like, I like Bruce Wayne Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That was a really cool one, where Bruce Wayne grew up to be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. How awesome is that? Uh, so he was kind of like the Nick Fury. Uh, so I thought that was a great issue. And um, I really loved ba uh, Dark Claw, which was the Wolverine Batman crossover, obviously. Spider Boy, which was Spider Man and Superboy. Um, so they had some really great stuff. Challenges of the Fantastic, like, there were so many cool things they did with the Amalgam Universe. So this is a good issue to end on. This came out around April or May of, uh, of 1995, actually now, because um, we're now into 1995. And uh, and this was just a great, like I said, Flash, cool character. You got to see the lightning bolt like around his stomach. Um, and then, yeah, and little do we know, soon after this, Ghost Rider is going to get a new costume. And he actually does have uh, some red in it. So currently he just wears black leather, but you're actually going to see Ghost Rider in red uh, coming up later. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, so there you go, Speed Demon. So this was, uh, this was a fun year, you know, but it was also a sad year because I could tell, uh, even as a kid, that this was, this was it. Like, when I finished collecting this year, now granted, I didn't have every single one of these issues when I was a kid that were showing off here. I missed a couple because of money and I was a kid. I didn't have, you know, couldn't buy all of them. But as an adult, I went and tracked down and filled in the gaps that I was missing. And even as an adult, I looked and I was like, wow, the, you know, the stack is like that big, you know, it's like, it's, it's small. It's like, you know, two, three inches. Um, and compared to the first year of Ghost Rider stories, it's like half. And, that, and like, and that's what I'm saying. Like when Danny hit the ground, he hit the ground running and he was in a bunch of books. And the second year, there was even more books. Like I think year one of Danny fills half of a short box and year two fills the other half. So yeah. So, and this doesn't even, this is like a fifth, uh, maybe a sixth, fifth or sixth of one of these boxes. I think a fifth. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, there's so much more uh, from previous years. So when you look at this year, you're like, okay, this is, we're getting down to the wire. And you'll see in the next episode and the one after that, when we end this collection, the the run, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, man. And it's uh, such a shame. So, uh, so yeah. So, this is kind of the last big hoorah. And then we'll get the end of the Howard Mackey stuff in the next collection episode. And then after that, we'll get into the uh, the, the newer stuff, like the, the, the stuff that basically the series ended on, uh, which is still fun stuff. Actually, I, I, I don't dislike it. I mean, there's some things in there I wasn't a big fan of, but I, so I was more critical of it than the Howard Mackey stuff, but I still didn't dislike it. I feel like a lot of people did and the sales dropped dramatically. And that's why those last like 10 issues were so hard to find because they were expensive. <laughs> so I couldn't find them anywhere for cheap. Um, so, so luckily I went through, dug through back issue bins in some stores and I found a couple beat up copies and I'm like, Hey, I don't care if they're in perfect condition. I just want to read them. You know, that's pretty much how I was. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this collection, you know, down below. Uh, this is going to be the last uh, video that's around this length. I think from here on out, we're going to be around the 10 or 15 minute marker and then and probably even less than that towards the end. And then we'll check out some other Ghost Rider collections I have. I have a Ghost Rider 2099 collection and then there was a newer Ghost Rider 2099 book that came out recently. So I'll kind of do those together like around the same time. And, uh, and yeah, don't worry. We, we'll have a couple more Ghost Rider stuff to talk about. But after we get through these collection videos, we're pretty much only going to make an episode every time a new comic comes out. And that's pretty much how I'm going to proceed forward with this show after the collection. So you guys let me know what do you think down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in hell. Peace.